Welcome to Hawaii, and this is Mason Ho. You're watching the Mirage Activate Compression Expression Session. Let's meet the surfers. Gabriel Medina. When I think about Gabriel Medina, he's, he is actually a real superhero. If you think you're gonna beat him, you're probably not. <laughs> Kip Caddy. I know, I know Kip's, a, um, I know Kip's a psychopath in, in like a compliment, in a compliment way. So, so I always kept my eye out for Kip. Sammy Pupo. He's like a assassin that you can't, you don't even see him coming, I feel like, for that guy. Just because he's so mellow, he's such a friendly guy and he's not too loud or anything. He doesn't like make a scene anywhere he goes on land. He only makes a scene when he hits the water. Luke Swanson. It's been such a pleasure for me to see his surfing and him grow in the last five years. Jacko Baker. So yeah, I know Jacko. I love watching Jacko surf because um, his style's super clean. It's like, um, I like how zappy it is and he like looks a little quicker, like when he's going on the water. Yeah, the waves on the North Shore, to me, they seem a little more powerful than the other places I go in the world. Yeah, I think, I think we're really special to have the waves we have on the North Shore because we have some sandbar waves that are smaller and friendly. And then we have some reef spots that are small and friendly. And then we also have some sandbar spots that are really lethal and dangerous where our waves are, might be the best in the world is like our reef breaks. We have some really big reef breaks that barrel nicely and the, I think the form of the wave here on some of the barrels are like some of the best in the world here on the North Shore. I'm glad we have like a, a nice wave here to, <laughs> like the perfect example of a wave for myself, the North Shore. And we have Luke Swanson on the beach. Uh, hopefully a couple right barrels, uh, hopefully some sort of uncrowded peaks and uh, maybe a couple air sections if I get lucky. Hopefully I can last out there with a long time without getting rashed, so yeah, excited. Looks pretty fun out there and uh, it's pretty big but I want to go try to do some turns so I'm on the short board. Kind of falling in love with off the wall. Like pipe's sick and that, but it's all crowded. I don't know, I just love off the wall, I don't know, something about it. Okay, here we got Sammy Boy Poopo. Bottom turning, wrapping on one, I think right in front of our house here. I love watching this guy in front of the house because, oh, what? See, I was just gonna say, he's gonna sneak an aerial almost no matter what, whether the wave is big or small. Oh yeah, here's the replay, my favorite part. Because you hit the slow-mo, you get to see the technique all slow, so. Right there, you can tell how nice that turn was. Okay, this, have you ever seen a superhero without his cape on? Here he is, Gabriel Medina. I won't even call him Darth Vader. Sorry, I just did. He's here to crush your dreams and make dreams of his own come true and help all of us who are cheering for him to be even more happy. Here he is, going over a bomb Look, he probably, he probably got out there with dry hair if I know this guy pretty good. Carey is at his own secret peak. It looks like in front of the house left. Oh my gosh. That was a perfect read. That's why we love him. Let's see it again. Nope, no need because it was so good. Or maybe this is another angle. Oh. So yeah, Gabby finds the mystical left in front of the house on the peak that barely ever breaks. Or, or actually this peak breaks a lot, but the waves aren't usually this good right there. So this is amazing. We get the replay from right where we want to see it in the water and you can see how pretty the ocean is in the background. Gabby Medina, Darth Vader to your dreams. So here we have young superhero Luke Swanson going on this bomb as late as you could go and just packing. So I love that kind of stuff. 
I, I don't know why. And we have Luke Swanson on the beach. I guess that's the factor is that these things can handle things that my board can't. <laughs> Yeah, I got so smoked. Uh, usually out there, it'll swing wide at the back door, and it won't. It'll have a nice. It'll have a nice wall in it. It won't be too wide, but it'll be like a nice good shoulder. And usually, usually there's like a line. It's like the secondary wave right in front, and so it's kind of doubling up. You can tell, and you know it's not going to close out. And it's funny because as soon as it comes, everyone knows that it's a good one because everyone starts jockeying for position, but. Um, Hopefully you're, the, hopefully you're the deepest guy, and then when it comes, nobody really fights, fights you for it. Here we have Jacko Baker on a nug at back door or off the wall. Oh, that was perfect until then. But that was main style. I'm enjoying his style. The way he's just standing straight up with his hands behind his back. Yes, this is what we want to replay. So. We got Jack o Boy right here. You're about to see his style go down right there. That's my favorite moment. Oh, that's exactly what I'd like to try to do. And then he got a pump in. He's making it happen. Finding waves amongst all those wolves out there. We're proud of him for that. Who do we got here? Oh, Kip Doggy Dog. Pulling in on a fat ass barrel. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on this live television, but replay. Here we go. Off the bottom on a thick one. Of course Kip ends up on a thick one. Oh, and he's styling. And it's almost looking like his house where he's from. But it's looking like a mix of Hawaii too. Oh, and then see that kick out? That's what I love. My favorite is when they kick out like that and they just get exploded off their boards. That's my favorite. <laughs> but yep, that was a beautiful wave for Kip. That was one of the thicker, more kind of scarier looking waves I've seen so far. See, this is what I love when he's on his colored boards. Boom, making it. Yes, and he's feeling it out, launching out the back. The replay. We got him taking off on the colored board. My favorite. Oh my gosh. This is actually way water clips rule the world. That was the sickest clip I think I've seen. Yeah, so right now I'm pretty bummed out I'm missing this session because my board stabbed me the other day. I got a big hole in my leg, but I'm enjoying this. And I did happen to sneak out to catch a wave at the eddy. That was 60 feet. <laughs> the face, day of the eddy. I got to sneak one key. I did okay, I got one one nice one. I think we get scored on four waves, Perks? Four waves? Yeah. Three? Oh, sick. Maybe I just need to get two more nice bombs. I feel all warmed up. I got injured on that last swell when they called the eddy on, but called it off. <laughs> got my fin in my calf, super deep, kind of bruised up. Yeah, but that's when you know you're going to the scariest event of your life. We got CO2 <laughs> containers and gauze wraps and a first aid kit. Good job. Well, me too. I felt it. But it's perfect now. It's like uh, it's like you're at home all day, but why me? Yeah, like it's usually always 25 miles an hour wind. Yeah. I ain't being that guy wiping fucking shit out of my eyes. Looking good. Hey, Mace. Good. Just ch cutting the stuff out of my eyes. Choke grays. Yeah. Good job. I'm cutting the grays out right now. Dude, my last heat, I had sh freaking shit going in my eyes. <laughs> Looks pretty good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> have, you two have fun, huh? Thank you, Dan. Thank you for helping me put my thing on.
was riding on the, I was like, took off on the wave, and all of a sudden I'm like, okay, I know I'm in the air, air drop. <laughs> and, then, and then all of a sudden the board was so magic, I was thinking, holy shit, I might land this. And then as I was going, it went, I thought I was gonna hit the water, and it didn't hit the water yet, so it kept going, and I was like, oh, I'm still, I'm like, riding the wind. And it felt nice, because it was like, it wasn't like, it wasn't like super fast, it was like going like parachute. So I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna fucking land this. And then I heard, Uncle Clyde's like, fucking do an airdrop, you get big scores. So I was like, bro, I double, triple airdrop. Then all of a sudden I see Chumbo, his rail or something. And I'm like, oh, fucker, get away. And then I think I thought I hit him, but I might have been so psyched uh, tripping. Maybe I didn't, yeah, and didn't. I was just, he was my excuse why I fell or something. Bro, I love that guy, though. Hey, so mental. <laughs> Every guy in this event is so mental. Now back to the live vision. Here we have... Jacko Baker on a nug at back door or off the wall. Oh, that was perfect. Taking off on this wave is Gabriel Medina. Two, three pumps into a barrel at his secret left. Coming out like nothing. And you know it's not done there. This guy is not going out normally. <laughs> huh. Okay. See, that's what we dream of doing. Long rides with a barrel and an air on them. That's our favorite. Okay, here he goes, he's coming across the fat spot. We love getting across those fat spots. And then, soup, little laser air kick out. He's still, he's probably laughing about that. If you zoom in on his face, you can see him laughing. Oh, here we go on his red board on another bomb at back door. Oh my gosh. He had a good theory there. Just go for it and style out and hope for the best because that's kind of how you win people over here in Hawaii. Right here, take notes, everyone. Boom, he went for it. And yep, that happens to the best of us. So we're all proud of Kip for that one. Keep it coming. Here he is, probably re-evaluating what he just did. Laughing at it too, probably like, that was nothing, watch out. And here's one of my favorites, Jack O'Baker catching this one. Oh, see, that's what I was talking about earlier. Those razor sharp turns he does. Really clean. Huh. I would love a replay. Here we go. Right there. Thank you, Jacko, for that pleasure. I hope it felt good for you too. And of course, here's Sammy Pupo. Here's another one. Check turn just to set up this one. Whoa, how did I see that coming? Because it's Sammy Pupo and he makes it easy to know he's gonna do something psycho at some point. Oh, what the? Okay, see, this is why we love him right here. You see that first turn? All right here, and he's keeping it going. That, that's another reason why we love him. He is not gonna stop with only that first perfect turn. Oh my God. So yeah, so my favorite part, I don't know, my favorite part of that wave was either the turn or how he kept surfing the wave to the very end. That's my favorite. Not wasting any of the wave. So here he is, leaving the beach like a champion. Thank you for that. Let's just quickly cut to an ad break. Suffering from a weak bottom turn? Are you sick of bogging rail? Constantly coming in early? We have the answer. Surf harder, surf faster, and surf stronger in the all new Mirage Activate board short. With the compression technology liner developed by Dr. Tim Brown, the Mirage Activate helps stimulate the muscles in the posterior chain, helping align the body, making you feel more powerful, and increasing your performance in the water the first time you put them on. You don't believe me? Trust me, they work. Thanks to these bad boys, Mix won three world surfing titles. What are you waiting for? Order yours now and start surfing like a world champion. Mirage Activate. Surf stronger for longer. Rip Curl, the ultimate surfing company. Now back to the live vision. And of course, 
Here's Sammy Poopo. Okay, right here. Whoa, see another psycho turn. Oh, psycho, I love the kick out. He meant to do that. That's what I love. Oh, see the biggest turn replay for the turn. Turn to fall combo. Boom, he meant to do that. I know him. I love that. That's sometimes my favorite part is when you fall good. And here's Kip packing another bomb. Yep. So that was a perfect one. I, I like that one. I like the, he probably, that one felt good. So here he is. Whoa, perfectly styled in the pretty wave. I like to, sometimes you gotta just have your board showing. You can't. You gotta show your colored board, Kip Doggy. That was mental. Good little flurry there by Kip. Thank you as well. We needed that. That was refreshing. And of course, here's Sammy Poopo. So there's a backdoor one or a barrel in front of the house again. To another nice layback turn. This one definitely deserves a replay. So here we go. You can see Sammy Boy's style right here. And that's why we love Sammy Boy. Let's just quickly cut to an ad break. Uh, hi, I'm Dr. Tim Brown. I'm a sports chiropractic specialist. Uh, I'm a co-medical director for the World Surf League, and uh, I love to surf. Throughout the years, Mick and I, you know, collaborate on what are we going to do? I got this injury. What can we do to help fix it? Hey, why don't we just kind of create something that you can wear all the time that mimics the taping? We've put in a whole posterior chain of muscles in the shorts and they stimulate the body to fire those muscles and again, make you more aware of those muscles. I put them on and went for a surf and instantly it just felt like someone had just come in and just grabbed my butt cheeks and just lifted them together and made them real perky. I started noticing that my legs would recover better. Yeah, that was sort of the way that it, it helped me throughout my World Cup years. It really helps to uh, align the body. It helps to make your body feel more powerful. And in fact, uh, it helps your performance the first time you put them on. Now back to the live vision. Here's Sammy Pupo. Hmm, this is another reason why. I hope we get a replay for that. Let's see this. So these kind of maneuvers only started happening in Hawaii about a few years ago. Whoa. Inverted turn slash air slash surf. Boom, Sammy Boy's done. Love you, Sammy Boy. Keep it up, brother. Uh, yeah, the shirts feel amazing. It's probably my favorite uh, board shirts now. And uh, I'm probably gonna use them in the front too, so it's good to get used to. Okay, here he goes. Gabby again on another nugget at his left. How is he finding all these lefts? Oh my, standing straight up. There he is, doing it again. Just how we want it done, perfectly. <laughs> here he goes, replay. Taking off. I can't tell if this is pipeline or off the wall, but he's making it look like it's pipeline. But I think it's off the wall. I wonder what's in store on this one. Yes, I love it when he goes right as well. Oh my gosh, where is he right here? Is this even Hawaii anymore? That wave was perfect. How did he find that? He found it amongst the crowd because he's a professional assassin. There he goes. Oh, so that's the wave we all want to catch during the session when we all paddle out. That's the one we're trying to get. And Gabby just nailed it. So we'd like to thank him as well for showing up for the heat. Here we have Luke Swanson catching a wave. What? What day was this? How am I not out there? What, when, I mean, is this now? Okay, he's ripping in. 
combo. Okay, this is some of the best combos I've seen at Rocky Point in at least since the last time I seen him surf out there. So I love watching Luke surf Rocky Point. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in to the Mirage Activate Compression Expression Session. Hope you guys enjoyed it, because you know I did. <laughs>